as in Hello and welcome back to the Barley Roast, the show with craft beer, conversation, and comedy. I am Lee Fabian, once again. I'm Damian Coleman, again. I'm still Philip Morgan. Again. And keeping up with the theme of Phil can't drink, uh, we are still drinking beer that he has already had before. And uh, this week, or this week, today, it is <clears throat> Sweetwater's IPA. And, uh, yeah, nice little Georgia brewery. Yeah, uh... O'Shea's used to have it on tap for a little while. I uh, used to drink that pretty often when I'd go and play bingo on Tuesdays before tacos became a thing. Loved it. Definitely a, definitely a good beer to drink. Yeah, and it's it's a very easy drinking IPA, too. Yeah. If I have to keep this it up for another good. few weeks, then we'll pull up the uh, pull up some of the stouts that I used to drink that I love. Yeah. We'll get the Breckenridge chocolate vanilla stout. <laughs> That's that is a good one, yeah. Especially uh, if you get the nitro cans. Oh, that <laughs> nitro vanilla porter. Yeah. Oh, those are so good, so very good. But these are very good too. They're not as hoppy as the last one we had had before. The uh, the mouth incinerator one that we had. <laughs> oh, crooked can high step. Yes. Yeah. No, you know nothing about hops until I'm serious. We're gonna get hops executioner, and we're just hops. gonna. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> stupid. What? I, uh, me die. I'm going to save, so that bottle of um, Dogfish Head 120 Minute that I talked about last week, uh, I'm saving that bottle for a special occasion, and we're mm. going to be drinking it here. Is it a large bottle? No, it's a 12 ounce. It's 12 bucks for a 12 ounce. You're joking. Dang. No, I'm not. Get wrecked, guys. Yeah. <clears throat> That's yeah. Like, it's sad. It's one of those like palate wrecking IPAs. He's <laughs> just still on the. It's also like seventeen percent alcohol, so you can age it for like a decade oh, if you man. really want to. Which aging an IPA basically just turns it into barley wine. Don't like that's so that's what it becomes. Barley wine. Yeah, barley wines are like super high in content as well. They're like usually around that 70, 17 to twenty percent because it's, it's basically wine. That's what it is. It's wine made out of barley. Mm. Yeah. Fun! Sounds like a s- strange combination. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Good, easy drinking IPA. Um, it's it's great. I like the last one more. This one tastes like a beer I had in, uh, when I went to Texas. Texas? I went, I went to this bar, this bar in Texas, yeah. Was it Redneck Heaven? No. Downtown Dallas is actually pretty, is actually pretty, like, hipster. Oh, it's, I know. There is, yeah. uh, I remember going to this, um, because we go there for paintball, so like one of the tourna- tournaments is in Dallas. Have you been? Have you been to uh, Brain Dead Brewery? No, don't know where that is. Oh, no, it's downtown Dallas, and it's oh, pretty man. awesome. One of, the, one of the silliest times that I was ever in Dallas was this time we went to the Hard Rock. Like we got paid from our paintball tournament, and this was back when we had to buy our own hotels and stuff. This is when we worked for a company called uh, PSP, and we bought our own hotels. And we stayed in this place called, um, oh God, I can't, I can't remember it now. It was the worst. It was Brain not, fart. it wasn't Forney. Brain fart. I think it was, I think it was Forney, Texas. Forney, Texas. Forney, Texas. Forney. I think actually where the, the event was, was Forney, but, uh, wherever. And it was, it was some distance away <clears throat> from Dallas, almost an hour. We were like, fuck it, we're going to Dallas tonight. We went out and it was Sunday night, so like nothing was open. We got over to the Hard Rock and it was like two people there, and uh, we're sitting around the bar. And this guy is uh, like starts fucking with us, basically. I was sitting there, like, <laughs> I was talking to my buddy Dylan and Mike, and uh, this guy turns and he's like, "The fuck are you looking at?" Well dressed, well dressed guy. And I'm like, I remember you telling me about this. I'm like, <laughs> Nothing. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I I apologize. Like I didn't mean to like disrespect you. I'm just like I don't know what I did. I'm just sitting here eating my steak, drinking my wine, and um, he was like, "Yeah, well, fuck you. Hey, bartender, buy all these guys a drink." And we're like, <laughs> "What? <laughs> this is unexpected. <laughs> you took just, an unexpected you turn. You just told me to go fuck myself, and now you're buying me a drink." And he's like. 
Hey! And he had the drinks get passed out to us, and he's like, Hey! Hey! Bafagu! <laughs> we're like, <laughs> What does that mean? It's, I found out that's, uh, I think it's, <laughs> it's Italian. It's, it, it's like, go to hell, basically. I think it's fuck you, too. It's, it's something something like along that. those lines, some, yeah. It's, it's an insult. It's, yeah, sort. I was about to say, it's something bad. <laughs> it's some kind of insult in Italian. And uh, he yelled that at us, and we would, we were like, Fuck you! No, fuck you! Fuck you! And he, he came over and started joking around with us and stuff, and uh, he was like, man, because I, I was wearing my big Abercrombie hoodie. Oh, yeah. And he was like, man, what is that, like, 60 bucks? And I was like, actually, I did pay $60 for it, but it's normally 200 And he's like, oh! <laughs> oh <laughs> big spender over here! <laughs> he's like, here, yeah, let me trade jackets with you, because he had a a sports coat, nice blazer on. And this thing, I don't know how much money that blazer was, but he's like, here, and he puts it on, and he puts on my my jacket, and he's like, all right, I'm going to be you. Uh, hey, guy, what's going on? I was like, oh, I'm going to be you. Uh, <laughs> and he was just dying. He loved it. He loved it. He tried to invite us back to his place, and we were like, you're a little creepy. Like, uh, no. no. Yeah. <laughs> this he's is like, oh, we'll buy, we it's go. okay. We'll buy strippers. We don't have to go. Like, you don't have to go to the strip club. I can just buy strippers. <laughs> and we are like, uh, no. So then he this gave man. us money to go to the strip club. This man wanted to have a special night. Yeah, no. Yeah, <laughs> did not want any part of that special night. But then he just gave us money to go to the strip club, and we ended up, like, not going to the strip club and getting <laughs> way more drunk. <laughs> oh, God. It was bad. Dylan threw up all over. Dylan was, like, sitting in the back seat. Mike was trying to get us out of there because he was the designated driver, and yeah. he was trying to get us out. And, um... Just trying to herd the cats, in a sense. Yeah, herd the, herd the cats. No, the cats. It's like herding cats. <laughs> it's like, you anytime you're chaperoning them. drunk people. It's like herding It's basically cats. what it is. But, um... It's true. I can see it. He, he like, oh, puppies. went to go vomit out of the window, and, like, we're on the highway, and it did not work out very well. <laughs> oh, it did It's just all in the back oh. window, and... I, so, woke, I woke up a few hours later, like an hour God. later, like I'm still sitting in the, back, the front seat, like, and then I, I like, come to because I was drunk and sleepy, and, you know, we are, we start our day at, like, 6 a.m. for paintball, and we got back at, like, 3, 3 in the morning, and I, like, oh, what's that smell? And I see Mike just, <laughs> just rubbing his car out, and I see Dylan on the sidewalk, like, I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck happened? What's going on? I, I have a similar story. Oh, man. Um, it, it wasn't... It's not my story. It was uh, one of the lifeguards that I worked with years ago told me this story. And it's stuck with me ever since. It, uh, he went to a party. He lived in Lake Worth. Uh, he went to a party with a few buds. And uh, this is like... When they were like a 19... Few- Buddies or a few, a few Budweisers? Friends. Buddies. Both. Oh, okay. Some he friends. Some, he went, oh, some, some friends. Some pals. Some yeah. pals. Some guys. So, uh, he, uh... The boys. He was telling me how he went to this party with a few of his friends. And, um... Do you remember, uh, Strikeout from, uh, Beer Fest? Yeah. So they played a modified version of it where instead of... Instead of uh, smoking the bowl and then chugging the beer before exhaling, you had to, after smoking the bowl, you had to run to like 30 feet down this hallway, turn around and run back. Before you exhale? Like, smoke the bowl, chug the beer, then run, and then exhale. <laughs> Nobody made it past the, the first round. Like, during oh, the second is. round, everyone just like collapsed halfway through the run. Uh, yeah, and let me just not breathe. Yeah, and he was telling me because he was he was the driver that night. He just yeah, watched breathe, all this fucking nonsense happen. I mean, breathing is also not temporary. Yeah, he he watched all this nonsense happen, and uh, like party dies down, it's time to go. They're driving on ninety five to get back home, and he's he talking about the tornado. <laughs> yes, the tornado. Oh, I so, love this story. So they're driving down ninety five. He doesn't have a seat. So he has all four of his windows oh, down. Oh, man. He's got two guys passed out in the back seat, just, like, laying across each other. 
and his body in the uh, passenger seat has his head out the window. The classic, like, I'm too drunk, I need the air to hit me in the face. Like, yeah. And uh, at one point, he's already driving, like, oh, like 20 under the speed limit. Because the guy in the front seat's like, you're going too fast! Yeah. And uh, at one point, he's like, you need to stop. He's like, I'm not fucking stopping. If we stop, we're not getting home. Like, we need to, I'm not stopping. We are going to keep going. And he's like, I'm going to throw up. He's like, so fucking throw up out the window. I don't give a shit. I'll clean it up later. So instead of, like, turning his head to the side to, like, puke downward, he's still, like, facing forward, (laughs) pukes into the wind. It comes back, hits him in the face. The wind whips it back into the back seat window, like, the, the back, the rear window. Goes behind him. The wind, like, going around the car, brings it back forward, back out, and hits him again. Oh my god. <laughs> and he doesn't he doesn't throw up once. He throws up, like, four or five times doing this. <laughs> and as he's throwing up, my buddy is just, like, hearing this going on, and, like, looks over and just sees the puke, like, going out of his mouth, hitting his friend in the face, going back over the heads of the people that are passed out, because they're lying across the seat over their heads, back up between the seats, and hits his friend again, <laughs> just creating this fucking cyclone of vomit, just hitting his friend, just like, just like, that is... Oh god! Man, this is racing. <laughs> yeah. This is the, 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 the worst. Of the <laughs> like, oh my god! I can only picture its greatness. <laughs> I wouldn't want to experience it. I wouldn't want to experience oh, it, Eva. I will keep <laughs> it in my head, though, because oh man. Oh yes, keep it in my head forever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, because, yeah, I'll keep it in my head, because if I'm that drunk one day, and I'm in this situation, I'm like, I can't, I can't throw up right now. It would become a puke tornado. A puke cyclone. (laughs) The puke cyclone. The puke nado. Oh, fucking. So this past Saturday, uh, Amelia had a little gathering. Uh, His sister, Amelia. Yeah, yeah. Um, My sister. I didn't attend. It was, it was very small. Because I couldn't attend. Yeah. Because it was like, okay, I can't drink, so I'm gonna not. <laughs> yeah, it was like ten people. It was, it was really small. small. We played Super Fight and Secret Hitler. Yeah. Secret Hitler, that's a good game. Secret Hitler was so much fun. Yeah, so, um... I was the fastest every single time. <laughs> yeah, like... <laughs> yeah, like one, uh... <clears throat> one or two... Like, one, one o'clock or two o'clock rolls around, and I'm like... I think I, like, stopped drinking at one, because I was like, alright, I... I had the beers that I brought, plus, like, one or two extra. Like, I need to sober up. I plan on leaving. Um, I think, like, 2.30 or 3 rolls around. Mm-hmm. And uh, Amelia and Monty are like, hey, we're going to call it. We're getting kind of tired. Like, it's it's time for you guys to go. And we're all like, okay, that's fine. And, like, by that point, like, everyone had sobered up enough. And um, so everyone leaves. Uh, Zetch was there. And Zetch, like, as we're on the way out, is like, I'm going to smoke a cigarette before I leave. Do you want to, like, keep me company? I was like, yeah, sure, fuck it. So we're... Because everyone knows smoking alone is boring. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, we're sitting out front not talking... Every, not everybody knows that, but. Yeah. We're sitting out front talking for a little <laughs> bit. And just because of the conversation, he, like, lights up a second one. He's like, you want to have a seat? I was like, yeah, sure. And, like, we sit down, like, on that little, like, walkway. That, like, little pavement walkway outside the front door. And he just, like passes me his bottle of rum he's like do you want to try this and i was like yeah yeah i'll give it a taste pop it open take a swig think hmm this is some pretty good rum and then i woke up in the guest bed <laughs> exactly like that <laughs> of my house of yeah my yeah like of yeah <laughs> no idea how i got there oh, just like man. confused as fuck like i just like woke up like just I- exactly like that just like took a swig this is pretty good rum. Next morning, just guest bed, kind of like woke up, looked around like, where am I? Whose room is this? Where is all my stuff? Why is there no sheets on this bed? Why am I just, I'm sleeping on a, just yes. a mattress. 
Oh man! <laughs> just like I is had... this Amelia's house? What happened? I thought I was gonna live. What? What happened? Just <laughs> oh, I had one of those and days I, uh, I've been in Chicago. I've been a few of those. Yeah, so I I <laughs> found I out. I've been like, how the fuck did I get here? <laughs> yeah, I, I I found out uh, talking to Zach and Monty that um, I apparently at like. 4 a.m. just stumbled into the house and like flopped on the couch and Monty like walked out and was like, you know, there's a bed, right? And I was like, okay. And I just like went to the bed and that was that. Uh, I was talking, I found out from Zach, um, I had multiple swigs of that rum and it's 140 proof. Oh, <laughs> 70 proof rum. Yeah. So. No. Yeah, like I just. Got fucked. <laughs> Good night. Yep. <laughs> Jeez. You thought you Sometimes were going you home? Have to preface no. that to people like, hey, this is really strong. Be careful. But yeah, that's, he, that's Zach. He doesn't. He, he just drinks strong rum. It, it wasn't something... after I tasted it that he was like, oh, it's 140 proof, by the way. And I was like, oh, I guess but I'm not leaving. Morning. So I just had a few more swigs. Oh my god. Don't remember that. But yeah, and like, so I woke up. And, uh, <laughs> I went, got a glass of water, watched an episode of Peaky Blinders, and then I went home, and I, like, I felt fucking fine. Like, no headache, no stomach, nothing, like, I was good. As soon as I get home, like, I get home, my mom's like, so, small gathering, right? And I was like, just, just stop. <laughs> I'm tired. As soon as my head hits the pillow, like, five seconds after, just fucking pounding headache. I was just uh, like, but why? I thought I avoided why? this. No. Nope. And, and just fucking hangover slept the entire goddamn day. And then you're up all night. Sunday. Yep. Yeah. That's how it works. Yeah, because we were, I was texting you at like five. Five somewhat. Just, yeah. Yeah. I couldn't like sleep and I was just binge watching the X-Files. Just yeah. binging it. Yeah. I was finishing <clears> season four <throat> of Peaky Blinders at the time. Mm. Which, good show if you haven't seen it. Pinky Blinders. Pinky Blinders. Blinders. It is I've good. been watching. I've been watching Deck Gently. What is it? Deck Gently. It's, it's, it's by the same. It's by the same guy who wrote Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Okay. Oh, okay. And it's about it's about a guy. He's a he's his name is Deck Gently, and he's a he's a holistic detective. A what? So he's a holistic detective. It's a so, holistic detective. All right, holistic is uh, the underlying interconnectedness of everything. So he literally saw he literally solves crimes by doing whatever the fuck he wants because the universe will eventually lead, lead him to solving the crime. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm about it. It's, what, all, it's it awesome. What is it on Netflix? It's it's BBC America. Oh okay, but okay. Uh, it's not on Netflix or Hulu. It got canceled. It's second season. It got canceled it's, after it's not its second on Hulu? season. No. It got canceled after its second season because of not you many... ruined my ninth not, game, you. Not many views, but Netflix is picking it up, apparently. So Netflix has picked up a lot of shit. Yeah, no, Netflix, Netflix is doing good. Did, uh, they released the Cloverfield I want to watch it so bad. I know, bad. I, I saw it. Like, I, I was thought it was a Facebook. series. I thought it was going to be a series. I thought so, I like, too. Oh. I was super excited. But it's like, an hour, it's like a two-hour movie. Yeah, almost two-hour movie. Huh. Yeah. I haven't seen the first Cloverfield. Oh, uh, first one. Interesting. First Cloverfield is good. The second one's pretty good, too. Cloverfield 2? Yeah. Um, like well, we have te- ten Cloverfield Lane, which is it's technically the second one, but it has nothing to do with the, the first one. Isn't that where they're hiding in the basement. underneath yeah. the basement because mm-hmm. the like apocalypse is happening? Yeah. With uh, John Goodman. John Goodman. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a good movie. It's a good movie. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's very good, and I'd like I want to see how this one goes because I like Cloverfield. This one feels good if you like the hand. I, me I, good. I, I heard it's good until you actually see the monster. I hear that's like the cutting point. I liked it all the way up until the ending. That's just what I heard. That was like mm-hmm. when it released, and I just never bothered watching it. Mm-hmm. I'm just terrible about watching movies. I just like, like a good I'm like film. the oh, worst. I am too. I'm terrible about watching movies too. I, I have a backlist of like fucking fifty movies that I have to watch from years ago. If it wasn't for my dad. If it wasn't for my dad, I'd have missed so many movies. It's just like, hey, I'm playing this on, you want to watch it? Yeah, sure. Right. Yeah, I, I have a few series that I binge watch over the course of, like, two or three weeks. Uh, once they're put up on Netflix, but otherwise, like, I don't really watch much of anything. I just caught up with a 
me and Karen, and we finally caught up with Seamless. Never watched Seamless. Watch Seamless. You never watched Seamless? Yeah. I've, it's good. I've heard a lot of good things, just have not watched it. No, really yeah, one. never watched it. It's not because I just haven't sat down and taken the time. I, I, I say that, and I also haven't finished Breaking Bad. But I used Dude. to I used to watch it like I what I have four episodes I haven't seen. Yeah, but you, like you may as well just finish it. Yeah, it was one of those things like I didn't get the chance so to good. watch the finale, and then like everyone ruined it for me. So oh just like, yeah, What's the point? to this day, still probably probably the best <laughs> TV show I've seen. Breaking Bad. Mm-hmm. I watched a thing earlier today on Facebook that was Breaking Bad in one minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was fantastic. Cause like it's. They did such a good job making Walter a sympathetic character, despite the fact that, like, he's a piece of shit. Oh, oh. no. Well, the original... He starts off not the bad guy, and well, he no, ends yeah. up becoming... The, the original the concept for the show, Vince Gilligan, he wanted to write the show about a good guy that turns into a bad guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what he wanted to do. Oh, man. And he did it. Vince Gilligan did it. Uh, does a few episodes for the X-Files. Like, that was one of his early works, was doing, uh, co-producing X-Files. Mm-hmm. Yeah, love it. It's so good. I watched the freakiest episode last night. It had this like weird Batman. Like, yeah, that oh, was creepy, creepy, creepy. I haven't seen X Files in so long. It's like my guilty pleasure. I get bored and just watch the X Files. That I just remember, like when I was a kid, and they would just like marathon X Files on Sci Fi all the time because that, oh, that was like their flagship show. Yeah. So they played it like eight times a day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was always on. Now, then it became, uh... Who's that other one? Eureka! Eureka. Yeah, I haven't seen it. Oh, wow. Eureka. Eureka. What about Warehouse it was, 13? That was like comedy crime so thing, Yeah, I haven't it? seen Warehouse kind of. 13 either. It was, like camp- it was super campy. Super campy. But it was like, this detective was trying to solve all these mysteries in this town that's just super advanced, but everything is still kind of silly. So yeah, it was comedy crime in a way. It was yeah. good. It was definitely I just, good. I just remember sci-fi for all the, all the really tacky original movies. Yeah, they've got a lot of really like bad Like Frank ones. and Fish. <laughs> Fucking Sharknado was one Sharknado, of those. Sharknado, yeah. They have like four Sharknados what was the, uh, I haven't seen any of them. No, no, no. neither have I. It was a turkey I don't wanna, but the thanks killing. Ah, thanks killing. Yeah, thanks killing. Yeah, like, Get over here, motherfucker! <laughs> oh my god, have you guys ever, have you guys ever seen the um, the gingerbread? Ginger dead man. Ginger. Oh. Dead man. <laughs> the ginger dead man. Oh, oh man. man, have you seen Santa's sleigh? No. Oh, no. That's it's fucking starring Goldberg, the wrestler Goldberg as Santa, <laughs> going on a murder spree. <laughs> Done. Sold. <laughs> yeah. Gonna watch it. Yes, it is. Gonna find honestly. it. Gonna find it after. God never compromised. Oh, man. Gonna watch it tonight before I, I go to bed. <laughs> Decided. Uh, we... I've already talked to um, uh, Nick Antonopoulos. I, I talked to him about this. Uh, I was telling him about <laughs> a movie called De Whom 2. De spelled two. D-H-O-O-M. The number two. De whom? There are three. I haven't seen the first or the third. I saw the, the second. It's a Bollywood movie, and it is amazing. It was. It's one of the best, like, terrible movie experiences I've ever seen. Oh, man. Just, like, it's so fucking ridiculous. It's like a three-hour movie, too. Like, like, one of the opening sequences, like, the first five minutes of the movie, there's, um, they're in, like, a canal, and there's, like, one of those, like, houseboats, like, two-story houseboats. This dude takes a jet ski, ramps it, like, five feet in the air off of, like, a little wake that's, like, that big, dives it down under the water, and then shoots it back up over this houseboat, hits a guy, jumps off, lands on the houseboat, shoots a few more dudes, and then the jet ski that hit the one guy lands on some barrels and explodes. That's Bollywood for you. Yeah, just, (laughs) like... It knows exactly what it is, and it owns the shit out of yeah. it. Yeah, Tucker and Dale versus. That's Evil. what Bollywood is, man. They just yeah. they take, they take popular concepts and stuff, and then just what like, is what can we do? It's like Indian, it's like Indian Hollywood. There's a lot of song and dance. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, are you talk. Have you seen like the? We we need to have like a watch party for Doom too. Oh my god! Because like Star like Wars. I haven't no, but no. they're um, <laughs> yes. they're like. <laughs> 
So, Doom 2 does this random thing where, uh, like, any time, like, something that's, like, plot-related happens, like, or is just, like, shown on screen or, like, whatever, it'll, like, zoom in onto it or, like, cut over to it, and in the background you'll just hear, like, an echo of people just going, like, Doom, Doom, Doom. And, like, the subtitles will come up and it'll say, like, create excitement. Create <laughs> excitement. Yeah, or create a storm. It just happens interchangeably, like, for no reason. They gotta get the hype up. Yeah. Hype it's, it up. <laughs> like, it's just so ridiculous, and I love it. The only Bollywood movie I've ever wanted to watch was the, was the one, like, about, like, the, like, android guy. Have you, have you seen the clip where, like, he turns into the ball? Like he yeah, this. yeah, yeah. <laughs> what the? Fuck? I don't know what that movie is, but I want to see it. Yeah, but like he turns like he like there's like a thousand, there's like a hundred of them or something, and like he he they all connect into a giant ball and they like roll yeah. down the highway, and yeah. the Marvel military is trying to stop him. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah, it's the greatest thing. It's so over the top, just so much fun. It's ridiculous, but they know. They yeah. know it's they over absolutely the top. know. Mm-hmm. Like they, they know exactly what their audience wants, <laughs> and like, it, it's, it's amazing. It's so good. Like we we need to watch Doom Two together. I'm done. Like I'm it done is down. an experience. Sounds great. Yeah, Doom. Just because yeah. Well, while, while, while all this while all this uh while all Hollywood stuff is happening over here, all the Bollywood stuff and whatnot. <laughs> yeah, is happening in India. You know, that's just like the stuff. They're over busy there. singing Tunuk Tunuk Tun over there. It's just like you know. <laughs> It's just like, you know, in South Korea, they have uh, just K-pop everywhere. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the K-pop. K-pop is and on the rage. We don't get much of it over here, but it is it is uh, it's on the abundant, up and up. abundant, and then <laughs> yeah. over there. up for K-pop. <laughs> was that okay? Because, like, I lost, I, you know, it was two Taco Tuesdays ago, but Kat was just playing... Tons it, of so it's, many, it was so much multiple, K-pop. Multiple. Was like, please. She, like, like at least like once a month, she like, just takes hey. over the music and just plays like K-pop, no, she and J-pop. Does. And, I mean, yeah. like I once nothing, the music is on, like okay, I'm sitting here and I've got nothing to do. Here's all of K-pop, J-pop. Yep. I mean, like yep. I have nothing against K-pop. I just don't like it that much. <laughs> well, I'm sure they don't like listening to Dance Gavin Dance all the time either. I mean, who would who? Who would want that? With you on that, I'm not crazy about him, but I mean, I thought it's not your music. It's not your music. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't hate them. It's just not not my thing. Not your preferred music style. No, have no. so you know baby metal, right? Yep. Have you ever heard of uh, Lady Beard? No. Oh my god! I'm gonna s- I'm gonna send you this shit tonight. This is I'm lady. gonna post that in like our little group chat. Like you need to fucking. Is it a lady who plays a guitar with her beard? Nope. I cool. once was Man. told a story about when I was back in the day when I was going to church. There was this kid, uh, Bryce, who played, decided to play the guitar with his tongue, and he had a tongue piercing, and the tongue piercing snapped the cable, and it like almost ripped his tongue off. <laughs> yeah, <sighs> church people. You know what also happened in church? We almost broke this kid's leg. <laughs> <laughs> Just yes. like, oh, by the way, church almost like <laughs> no, no. Okay, so it's like youth group. This game called um, pole ball, which is like pole ball. a ball that was as big as this table, but oh. it was huge, and you had to. It was played like soccer. Like you had people that would cross the line and didn't cross the, the center field, and you had to take this big ass ball and hit a, a large PVC pipe pole. Well, it got real violent sometimes, and this kid Scotty Lemay got. In between us, me and uh, this this kid Kyle Sobic, and, I, like, I fucking know Sobic. Yeah, yeah, we we like we looked at each I other and we're like, Sobek. we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna defensively like knock this ball and take this kid out at the same time. Like I'm gonna truck this kid and you're gonna like come at him with and hit the ball. So we did that and his leg like bent the wrong way. Uh-huh. We like almost broke this kid's leg. <sighs> yeah, youth group church. <laughs> it's the church fights. Just doing <laughs> stupid shit as kids. I mean, as kids, it's understandable. One time I watched, they played this game where it was like, you were hair, hair tied, <laughs> you were tied together with a hair tie, and uh, Tyler Schneider. Oh, and, yeah. And uh, Sobic, again, <laughs> they were running, and they just like, there was a tree, and they're like, 
uh, they see the tree. They have to see the tree. Like, they have to... Like, I don't know what happened. They just didn't go around the tree, but they both just kept running, and they just... <laughs> they hit the tree so hard. Oh, man. <laughs> they hit the tree so hard, they left a, a, a line in the tree from the rope that was attached to them. It was... <laughs> Fantastic! What is there? This? Um, it's a table handle. There was one. There was, <laughs> was one kid the, was that. The uh, there was one kid I knew through scouting, where um, we called him Cockeyed Cody because he had a cockeye, and he also was blind in that eye, so we had no depth perception. Is it like? It, it's <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like like extreme like it, like pug eyes. Um, like pug eyes, like cockeyed, and he, uh, like one night right before a camp out, he was in like a different troop. Uh, this is Friday night, like we all like we're still setting up tents and shit, and uh, it's night, so he it's already hard to see, and he has no depth perception just because he's blind in whatever like, eye, like chameleon <laughs> eyes. Yeah, oh, so God. he had. He had just gotten surgery to straighten his cocked eye <laughs> earlier that day, and they said, "Like, take it easy, because if anything happens, it could go back to where it was." See where the story is going. He runs into a tree, <laughs> like face first, like like someone's chasing him. They were like playing manhunt or whatever, and like we're like at the pavilion, just like helping, like set no. up set up camp and stuff, <laughs> and we just hear. Boom! We turn around and he's just on the ground and we're like, are you okay? And he gets up, he's like, yeah, I'm fine. And we like pull him into the light. We're like, just make sure you don't have any scrapes. And we just look up at him and his eyes like, from being fixed and straight, we just boop, right back to where it was. We're like, you fucked up your eye, dude. He's like, what? We're like, yep, it's cockeyed again. He's like, fuck, I just got this surgery. We're like, yeah. Yeah, it was expensive, wasn't it? He's like, I can't afford another. We're like, well, maybe. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! It's just like, oh like man, we, we felt to be to be young <laughs> and dumb. Like, oh man, and it it's so bad looking at it, but like it was really fucking funny at the time. <laughs> oh, I bet, I bet. But uh, it's like uh, it's like one of those <laughs> fucked up funnies. Yeah, it's it's like one of those things stuff, where, like, man, this is funny, but I really shouldn't laugh. It's right like now. I I shouldn't be laughing at it, but it is really <laughs> it's funny. Really funny. <laughs> Remember how I was talking about where I got arrested? Look at all of my mail. <laughs> this is all lawyer mail. Yeah. All of it. All Smoking of it's lawyer mail. All in there. But burning it all. Burn it yeah, um, I've got it all. Own, I've got my own lawyer. But yeah, like like I talking that story own. about Cody. Uh, That's crazy. Yeah, cock-eyed, like it, cockeyed Cody. Cockeyed Cody. It also sounds really fucking wrong too, cause like yeah, yeah. like it. We were mean giving him that nickname. Well, you, your kids basically. Yeah. But um, like th- thinking Cody, on that story, it's like like gay. you have you have a bunch of people now that are like kids should play outside. <laughs> I completely missed it. <laughs> but <laughs> so you have like you have all those people that are like kids need to play outside more and just like. Maybe it's Sorry. best if they don't, because I ha- I can't even count how many stories I have where it's like either myself or an immediate friend. Like I almost watched him. Like we really, almost died a really, lot. Really get injured. Yeah. There are a lot of stories that end. My buddy in, Sean Rock Tag. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like there, we have a lot of stories that end in either I or one of my friends almost died. That's so. like that's the making we're, uh, of a great story. Yeah, we we're probably gonna tell those stories on some other episodes, but yeah. we're, we're just about out of time. So yes. thank you for joining us on this episode of the barley roast. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe. Leave if you want to hear like. some of those stories, let us know. Leave us a comment. I mean, if you hate us, you can also tell us too. Yeah. 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 We, we want to know if you hate us just because we, we hate you. Of it. We hate you. Just but in the much. nicest of ways. Yeah. It's, it's a love hate thing. You know, we love to hate you. Sort of like how I love and hate dairy. Oh yeah. Fucking. I, I love it. Gives you the absolute shits. You know, that cream beer didn't fuck me up, so... There you go. Yeah. I don't think there's I mean, actually cream in cream ales. It's no, just no, a style. It's just a style. Yeah. yeah. But it was, it was still <laughs> funny to joke about. <laughs> no, we didn't. But, yeah. Thank you for joining us. Uh, yeah, we're, we're going to be doing this pretty regularly.
keep doing it. We're having a lot of fun. So yeah. we will see you on Wednesday. 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 Bye. Bye-bye. Goodbye.